today. will be about flow control, which is this orange tab down here. And it's going to include loops, weight blocks, switches, and loop interrupts. So the first thing we're going to be talking about is switches. So what a switch does is it basically, it um, if a value is true, it does one thing, and if it's false, it does another thing. So in this case, it's set to sensor, it's set to touch sensor. So if it detects that, um, it, if it detects that the touch sensor is pressed, then it does this action, and if it doesn't, then it does this action. So there are only two cases here right now, but with something called numeric, you can have multiple cases. So you have to switch to tab view, which is this button on the top left corner of the block, and you can add extra cases like this. So here's an example. If we put a color sensor block here and make it measure the reflected light intensity and plug it in here, and let's say we set this to 0, 50, and 100. So then, if the color sensor detects um, 0 as light intensity, then it does this action. And if it detects 50, it does this action. And if it detects 100, it does this. So you could keep adding cases like this. And we know that if this were to actually happen, it won't be a very good idea because it's not likely that the the value of the light intensity is exactly 0, 50, or 100, but this is just an example. This is a loop block. So what a loop block does is it repeats the inside action until something happens. So right now it's set to unlimited, so it's going to keep repeating it. But you could also set it to count, where it happens like a certain number of times. So it's better than dragging it out, than writing it down writing it out separately five times you could just put it to repeat five count over here and there's also logic where it's pretty complicated and you have to drag it in from an, another block so but if it's true I mean it does something until it's true or false which you can set here there's also time where it does something for a certain number of seconds and finally there's all these sensor options so it repeats until a sensor detects something. So for example, if we set it to touch sensor, over here it's going to keep repeating this until the touch sensor is pressed. So if you want to move a motor, if you want the motor to repeat until something happens, um, set it to on, set a motor block to on inside the loop, and then set it to off outside the loop. So um, the motor will turn on and it will keep going until the value is reached then it will turn itself off. Here we have the weight block. So as the name suggests what the weight block does is it waits for an action to happen. So um, in this example over here there's this action with the motor movement and once that is finished it waits for the touch sensor to be pressed before it can continue the next action. And there's also all these other sensors and things you can do. And one thing that we like to use it for, which we find it very useful, we call it a debugging point. So for a debugging point, we cha we set it to brick buttons. So what what it does is um, when we're making a new program, what a debugging point does is you um, it what you have to do is you have to press the button to continue the next part of the program. So it's very useful if you want to see the program piecewise. So um, it does each part separately, then you have to press the button for it to continue. And then once, we, once we've realized that the program works, then we, we take all of these out. So finally, using all that we've learned, here's one big example. So um, what it does is there's a switch inside a loop. So what that does is it constantly keeps checking. So right now here, it's set to color sensor. So it's going to constantly while the loop is running it's going to constantly check the color and if it detects black over here then we put a loop interrupt so if it ever detects black then the loop is going to quit but right now this won't do anything because there's nothing inside but we put this motor block so it's going to the motor is going to keep moving 
until the it it detects black so then the it's going to the loops going to be interrupted and the motor is going to stop so that's all thanks for listening